Do you like jazz? How's everybody doing today? Hello, Train. Hello, Grundle. Hi, Tear. Hi, Mr. Block. Hello. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> you doing good? Happy to hear. Happy to hear. Let me just uh, boop, boop. Click a couple little thingies. Why is this set up like this? There we go. Much better. All right, so I have uh, the babysitter back on. I have changed a couple things, and I believe now we should be able to get the commands working. Uh, does anyone want to check and see how many points they have just using uh, exclamation mark points? Because uh, I did, I did raise the amount of points total needed because uh, people were gaining points super, super, super fast. So I wanted to make sure that it was spread out a little more. Doing well, how how is yourself? I am good. I am V good. Also, I really like the the menu music for this game. Just very relaxing. It's Nightbot in. Let me let me try uh, parting it one more time. Part join. Nightbot, get in here. Hello, Dan. How are you? The baby sh uh, sitter should still. Be able to read chat now because I fixed some settings, but we shall see. Let me just make sure I didn't turn anything off real quick. Hmm. Well, we'll wait for Nightbot to decide to say hello because it did that last time. It took a while. Oh, you're at your cousin's birthday party? I would recommend uh, wearing headphones for this stream. <laughs> We don't have headphones might not be a good idea um so <laughs> let me let me explain the game before we we get into it so i am playing the game only cans it actually is a horror game it's a parody indie horror it is it is very silly but it has a lot of um adult noises <laughs> they're only like soda cans you don't actually see anything but uh this is not a game that you want to have at full volume. Let me put it to you that way. It is, it is, it is something. But let's see, let's see. Let me, uh, let me shift over here. Dun -dun. This is what the game looks like. Ta-da! Only cans, thirst date. We get to uh, experience cans together. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited about playing this. I was supposed to play this years ago, but I kind of just forgot about it, unfortunately. Hilarious sounds yay. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So let's, let's experience camps. All right. What do we got? What's, what's first up? All right. Shy's original. Or sorry, it's She's. I keep reading it as Shy's, like, uh, Shiza. But it is actually pronounced cheese. Also, fun fact, if you've played Phasmophobia, you will see this soda company on some of the, uh, how do you call them, vending machines in the game. So, let's see. The original, the best, invented by the Shies family. Or she's, I gotta say she's, she's, she's. I can do this. Invented by the Shees family during a lengthy trip across the Atlantic Ocean in 1744, Shees TM original is the taste sensation drunk throughout the ages. While it doesn't use quite the same ingredients as it used to, Shees TM original still has the taste we all know and love. Currently, Shees TM original has one of the biggest throat shares in the worldwide markets and there's no signs of stopping any time soon. Feel the fizz inside you. She's TM original is for everyone. They may not be the most sparkly of the bunch, but they're more than fit for purpose when it comes to fulfilling your desires. They are well-traveled, having shared momentous experiences with people all around the globe. Let them into your life and you'll be feeling bubbly within seconds. You don't like the phrase throat shares. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a lot of puns in this game. Oh, you like the phrase? 
Yeah, because you... I, I feel like it should be shies, but it's cheese. Okay, so uh, they love peace, love, the world, happiness, long walks on the beach, and the cheese brand. They dislike rudeness, drab furniture, eggs, and cold nights. All right, are y'all ready for this? We're gonna begin our session. Oh, hello. Is this your first time? I mean, the renders on these cans are actually like really incredible, I will say. But uh, <laughs> this game is. Church of Leah says, underscore Leah Sippies, Leah Sippies, comma, underscore Sippies. Sippies underscore Leah Sippies, Leah Sippies, comma underscore Sippies, Sippies underscore Leah Sippies, Leah Sippies, comma underscore Sippies, Sippies underscore Leah Sippies, Leah Sippies, comma underscore Sippies, Sippies underscore Leah Sippies, Leah Sippies, comma underscore Sippies, Sippies. Are you done? Ah, I see you're showing your support for Leah with a chant, Church of Leah. Oh While enthusiasm God. is encouraged, mm. let's remember to maintain a respectful oh. and wholesome atmosphere. Oh, if yeah, you very, have any very other respectful. thoughts or questions related to Leah's progress, oh. feel free to share them. I'm going to turn the babysitter down just a little bit. And then I'm going to turn my game up and my headphones a tiny bit. Congratulations, you've unlocked your second can. Let me just turn that up a little, because that was a little low for me. But yeah, that is, that is the... Uh, that is that is what the game is. Ugh. All right, so I think we can do better than what we did. I was a little distracted by our uh, our little babysitter over here. So let's go ahead and try that again. We 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 can do better on this. You can go all the way up to S tier. All right, so we gotta spray, snap, spray. Snap, 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 spray. Come on, okay, we can do this. Yep. Boop, boop. All right, another snap, snap, spray, snap. We got this, we got this. We can totally S tier this. I believe in us. I just gotta focus. Oh, I did the wrong one. That's okay. As long as we do a little better than what we did last time, I think we are totally fine. It's just hard to focus on it, honestly. Oh, did I do the wrong one there? <gasps> no, I was gonna get a tier. I wanted a rank. Hi, Reese. Oh no, this is a horror game. This actually is a horror game. This is only kids. There is a, there's a little something down here. I don't know if you can read that at the bottom of the list, but it says, please don't unlock this. And let me show you something real quick. Let me just boop, boop. Look at the warning down here. Contains reference to food, body horror, flashing images, BDSM clowns, insects, smoking, gambling, and various other sexual themes. So no, there it is. Welcome to only cans. It is. Thirsty. I promise you. Click here to experience cans. We just have a, a bunch of cans to go through. All right, she's light edition. Returning to the company in 2012 after over a decade of seclusion and soul searching, John Cheese the Third created his first new beverage in honor of his late son, John Cheese the Fourth. She's Light was a beacon of hope and had a return to form for the declining company that had just been returned to the She's family dynasty. It was released at the same time as She's Gamer Energy. Spending time with She's Light is truly heavenly. They are a listener and a giver. If you want to feel like you are in the Mile High Club, then you must check them out. You know what they say, she's light gives you flying appendages. Uh, they like flying, clouds, yoga, the wind, extreme sports, and they dislike smoking, darkness, the ground, and failing parachutes. Uh, I'm all shaken up. Yeah, the subtitles are great. Okay, here we go. We got this. Look, it's got a little halo and everything. Oh. This is fantastic. Oh. Oh. 
All right, spray, another spray, snap, yep, spray, snap, yep, yep. Okay, oh, oh, I'm doing pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Let's see. Oh, no, I hit the wrong one. Whoops. It slows down so much if you mix them up because you basically have to, whatever side it's on, snap or spray, you have to hit that while it's still moving back and forth. It's basically a rhythm game. All right, and B rank. Okay, I think as long as we get at least B ranks, we'll be okay. This is your first stream. Welcome. We are uh, we're playing only cans today. Congrats on finishing your first two cans. You seem to know what you're doing. Feel free to explore all that our cans have to offer. All right, and on to the next one is Cherry Pop. Is this heaven or heck realm? That one's supposed to be heaven, but you know, you know. Cheese Cherry Pop was invented in 1999 to give Shees the public rebranding they needed to push past the tropical storm scandal of 1998. It was accompanied by the new, a new sexy millennium ad campaign, which boosted the company's stock values by more than 200%. So many years later, She's Cherry Pop is still the preferred flavor among college students. She's Cherry Pop is sweet, with a flirtatious and rebellious streak you just can't ignore. She's quite the adventurer and never stays in if she can help it. Her hobbies include knowing every bouncer in town, inventing her own cocktails, cliff diving, and working to end housing inequality. You'll never be bored with She's Cherry Pop if you can keep up. She likes pop music, the city at night, unions, cats, trying new foods, and podcasts. She dislikes bugs, routines, gentrification, and golf. All right, let's see how we do on this one. <laughs> Come on now. Oh my god. I mean, I like the little garter. That's cute. <laughs> they did a really good job with um, the renders on these, though. All right, snap, oh. spray, spray. Can we get an A on this one if I don't mess up? Degassed, nice. We got this. Boop, boop. Got it. Spray, spray, spray. Snap, all right, all right. Got this, we can do it. Oh, A, A, oh, 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 no, I went down to B. Oh, no, no, no. I was doing so well. I was so close. Oh my god. I love it. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Alright, so now we have She's Strawberry Kiwi. She's Strawberry Kiwi was John She's the Second's final flavor before tragically passing away after attempting the Flying Constantine in 1975. This meant the She's torch was handed off to John She's the Third ushering the most turbulent time, so far, in Cheese's long history. Cheese Strawberry Kiwi is a free spirit. They are a flower child who believes in the healing energy of nature and love. If you choose Cheese Strawberry Kiwi, you'll become more connected to the soda you truly are in your soul. I have no idea what the Flying Constantine is, and I'm not sure I want to look it up. Squirt Soda would fit in perfectly? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, they love disco music, gushers, crystals, and zodiac signs. And they dislike computers, newspaper, and nonfiction. All right, let's see what we got for this one. Hello. Welcome. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love the designs. These are these are fantastic. Oh. 10 out of 10. This is this is oh. game of the year. I know this came out in like 2020, but like clearly this is this is the game of the year. Oh. Like, hands down. This yes. this beats out every game oh. ever ex oh. that existed. Yes. Oh. Okay, almost, almost. Oh. Okay, got yes. it, got it. Oh. Oop. Oh, what did we get, what did we get? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I liked the, uh, the hearts. The hearts were cute. Okay, I you know what? I, I will take B and above. I'm I'm okay with that. 
All right, lemon party. In 1986, when the stock of Shee's TM was at their peak, John Shee's III threw an extremely exclusive soiree to celebrate his son's sweeter 21. The decadent evening of fizzy pleasures was crowned with Shee's lemon party. Only 1,200 cans were produced for the occasion, and now this pungent carbonated delight can only be acquired by somebody in possession of one of the 347 Cheese TM rings that were handed out alongside invitations to the elite, securing John Cheese the third, the favor of those who had become some of the most active investors of the company. Cheese Lemon Party doesn't mingle with just anyone. Don't dare waste their time if you're not up to their high standards. They're sophisticated and hard to dazzle, but if you prove to be at their level, they may let you in on a facet of themselves only a select few have been able to taste. Oh. Mornings, uh, they like mornings, champagne sorbet, macaroons, Santorini, and cello pieces. They dislike jeans, motorcycles, body hair, and talking to strangers. All right, let's try this one. I might taste a little bitter, but I go down smooth. Oh my god. All right, oh. you heard him. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. oh my god. I. I'm sure the voice actors had such a fun time with this project, but it's it's really funny to listen to, honestly. Oh my god. Oh, I hit the wrong one. I feel like every single one we've done, I have, like, mixed up spray and snap. But as long as I... Oh! <gasps> no, I don't think I did. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I did as well on that one, but that's okay. What what rank did I get? D? Eh. I could have done better, but I, I want to see. There's so many that I just kind of want to see. Because, like, so this is this is one menu, right? And then this hot and steamy thing at the bottom, where, like, uh, the member's stuff is, uh, <laughs> that's another menu, too. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's constant. <laughs> yeah, it's just soda. It's it's if anyone asks you what's going on, just be like, look, they're they're just spraying soda cans. They're, it's a photo shoot, you know. Surprised you haven't gotten bonked yet. No, people people have um, done full playthroughs of of this, so it's totally fine. Also, there's nothing like actually that bad in this game. It's it's references, so it sounds like it's bad, but it's totally fine. But this is definitely not a monetizable video. That much I can tell you. All right, uh, Shy's. Or she's, I keep trying to say shies. She's Juicy Melon. In 2013, after several years of discussion, John She's the Third and Ichiro Yori of Cyber Life Industries founded the She's Research and Development Facility on a small island off the coast of Hokkaido. In honor of this big step forward in soda based research, She's TM released She's TM Juicy Melon across Japan that year. She's TM Juicy Melon is bright, bubbly, and adorable. They always brighten up a room with their audacious and colorful sense of style. If you want a tour of Japan that takes you off the beaten path, then you want to try She's TM Juicy Melon. Yeah, is Nightbot being weird? I can try to uh, join it one more time, but if it doesn't pop in, then I can't do much with it. Yes, this game does have lore. The lore is actually what I'm reading out in each of these cans. I'm sorry that it's it's being stinky right now. Um, there was an update for VTS Pog, so I'm not sure if that's part of it, like why it's not up, uh, joining the channel, but it should join the channel regardless. Yeah, Nightbot's just, they're sleeping in, they're missing their shift. I, I don't know what's happening with them. Because I've uh, tried to tell it three times now to like join the stream, but at least... Oh wait, no, you might not be getting points if uh, Nightbot's not actually in here. We'll figure it out though. Maybe there's a, a way that I can switch what the bot is for the point system, but we will figure it out. The good news is, is that the baby still does read chat. I just uh, set their intervals uh, a, a little further than usual, so we'd have more time to like, you know, 
clock and, and read things out and all that good stuff. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so they like Harajuku fashion, J-pop, anime, DDR, the Barrett M82, and she's blueberry tart. They dislike loud noises, dogs, phone calls, and beer. Konnichiwa. Okay, that's cute. Oh, I like the little best friends necklace. Okay, they changed the music up too. I don't know. I wasn't paying as much attention. I don't know if uh, the other ones had separate music, but this music definitely is different. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is this is the game of all time. It is, it is certainly a game of all time. Spray, 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 snap, spray. Oh, I think I got a B on that one. The soda is like me forever. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend um, headphones. It's a good thing that I did not try to put this on monetization. I knew this one, like some of the videos that I put out, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of like treading the line. This is this one I'm not even going to try to monetize. <laughs> uh, maybe Nightbot had a little too much to drink last night. Maybe, maybe. But I don't know why they're not popping in. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. She's Elderflower. During his decade long voyage of mourning, self-reflection and discovery, John Shees III spent a year in Romania researching local customs and legends. His journey left him with fond memories of his time with the locals, and so he launched a range of products for a Romanian audience in 2016, starting with the Shees Elderflower. Shees Elderflower is a classy brand. They are a little petulant, enjoy the finest things in life, and aren't afraid to take what they want. She's Elderflower loves to be outside, surrounded by nature. They feel most at home amongst the flowers. They love flowers, plants, the forest, and old buildings. And they hate dairy products, direct sunlight, and garlic. Do you think they're a vampire? Oh no, your headphones aren't working. All right, let's go. We got this. Boop. And spray, spray, snap. I like the pearls though. The pearls are really cute. My Does it? Can anyone speak Romanian? Because I, I definitely can't. Yeah, pretty sure that is a vampire right there. That's that's how they lure you in. <laughs> Sexy little can. And then they drink your blood. Oh, my you, no, I didn't do as well on that one, but that's okay. Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> if it gets a little too crazy, I'll just yell over. It's fine. We're not even halfway done. <laughs> oh my god. Um... She's Tropical Storm was formulated in 1992, originally as a limited edition flavor for She's sponsorship of the 1992 ball games. The flavor was so popular that it became a mainstay in She's lineup. It was briefly pulled from production after the scandal in 1998, but returned for good in 2002. She's Tropical Storm is a tease who likes to play hard to get. If you can catch their eye, though, there's no getting rid of their bubbly personality. They've got an alternative style, and that comes into play with everything they do. You can find them lounging on the beach, playing volleyball, or roller skating on the boardwalk. Good times are guaranteed with She's Tropical Storm. They love the beach, road trips, signing pro-environmental position petitions, excuse me, and pop punk music. They hate litter, rain, horror movies, and being tickled. That is very specific. Spray me, daddy. <laughs> okay, that that was not something I was expecting as their like opening line. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, they're they're getting into it. They're getting very, very into it. <laughs> oh my god. 
tropical moan. Oh my god. This is this is something. I'm just trying to I'm trying to make sure that I hit the thing right. Oh, we had a B. I, I messed it up. Oh wow, that was that was <laughs> Oh uh, wait, but sh uh, she's is the one spraying us? Well, I mean, all the cheese cans are spraying us. Oh, guys, look, 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 look. Chat, it's you. Gamer energy. <laughs> she's gamer energy was part of a dual release with She's Light when John She's the Third returned to his company in 2012. John She's the Third had big dreams for the next 10 years and needed a new product to send stock prices skyrocketing. She's gamer energy revitalized She's and reshaped the company into what we know today. She's gamer energy is a fast-paced soda and will be quick to call you a casual if you don't keep up. They're certainly not for scrubs and will keep you guessing with every snap. With She's gamer energy, every L will be a GG. <laughs> I love the way they wrote these. Okay. So they love video game sales, new strats, and uh, poning noobs. They hate DMCA, <laughs> losing, and controller drift. <laughs> I love that DMCA got put into here. All right, begin. Let's see, let's see, what do we got? Oh, <gasps> gamer. Look, they got the headphones, they got the headphones. I love it, I love it, fantastic. Headshots. Oh wait, and the, uh, the audio Whoa. quality is lower <laughs> on this one. Nice. Oh my god. Score. No, this is this is the, the best one they've had so far, definitely. Score. Score. Oh my god. Nice. This is this is fantastic. Score. When so do you think they're gonna say Poggy Woggy or do you think nice. they're gonna say GG at the end? Because I feel like either is Score. is very possible. GG. Yep, GG, there we go. Oh my god. I used to have headphones like these too. They were uh, instead of pink, they were black. Oh, it doesn't show it on here. Why doesn't show the the headphones and stuff on here? Um, but they actually used to like react to stream and everything. It was really cute. All right, we have French vanilla now. Okay, she's French vanilla was John She's the third's second foray into formulating going with a decidedly less risky profile than She's Blueberry Tart. She's French Vanilla was inspired by the business travels John She's III made as a young man and remains most popular in European hotels. Ooh la la, She's French Vanilla is here to serve you. They might not be the brightest, but they're bubbly, sweet, fun, and know how to show you a good time. If you're looking to clean up your act, She's French Vanilla is the way to go. They love cleaning, bike rides, and butterflies. They hate dust, cold weather, and white wine. You want to show off the bear can? You know what? You are correct. Like French Vanilla ice cream? Yeah, yeah. Same kind of thing. Is it wrong to tell your partner they are pog in bed? <laughs> what, are you just going to like finish and be like, Poggy Woggies, GG? <laughs> Give them like a <laughs> a ranking system. Be like, oh no, you have to do this many things to like hit plat. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. All right, let's 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 see how this one goes. GGWP. <laughs> Salut mon cher. Salut, ho, ho, titi croissant. This entire game is Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> oh yeah, the um, mm. the, 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 oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Sad French sounds. If you mess it up, they're all sad French sounds. Oh my god. This is this is fantastic. I love it. Great game. Fantastic. Okay. Boop. 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 Come on, come on. We can get we can get uh hit the wrong one. It's really hard to focus. There's there's a, a lot of distractions, so to speak. Get it? Soda. Speak. E. Okay. <laughs> oh. The bow is cute, though. Bow is very cute. Alright. She's Canada shy. 
Cheese Canada Shy was the second carbonated drink formulated by the Russian cheese-inspired company Shez. Cheese? Shez? I'm gonna say Shez. Uh, PGSC. After the local success of cold beet stew, Shez aimed the, for the global market with a more international flavor. Shez Canada Shy was mildly popular among niche soft drink fans enough to give she Chez the boost they needed to officially acquire Shees in 2001. Chez Canada Shy can be a little dry at first, but if you give them a chance, they can be the sweetest. Not literally, though. Definitely an acquired taste and not for everyone. Those who developed the palette for Chez Canada Shy will stay hooked. One might say enamored forever. They like... The mountains, warm socks, mint chocolate, and lacrosse, and they hate phone calls, loud people, sandy beaches, and soggy fries. Can you, can you report your partner after? Oh my god! Uh, GG had to carry noob teammate, doesn't even know how to aim. Oh my god. That would be so funny. Really? Me? Are you sure? Oh, they're actually Canadian. Oh my god. That's really funny. Alright, we got this. We can do this. We can totally do this. I want to get, like, at least one, um... Oh, annoyed hiss. They hissed at me. Oh no. That's not like most Canadians. I thought they were supposed to be polite from stereotypes. Oh my god. Boom. We got this. We got this. We got this. There we go. Boom. Oh, what did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. You think the, the loud people are the British people? Yeah. The horror will be there. We, we have to unlock the cans. We have to unlock them. I promise you this is a horror game. This is not clickbait. I didn't throw that in there just for, you know, shits and giggles. This is actually a horror game. We got to get down here. We, we got to get all the way down here. Okay. Shy's Liquorlicious. Shy's Liquorlicious was a special flavor developed in 2012 as John Shy's the third preparation for the final party before Doomsday. Doomsday didn't happen, but Shy's Liquorlicious became the most requested Shy's flavor. Uh, oh wait, she's. I keep saying it incorrectly. Hi, unknown. How are you? Uh, she's Liquorlicious is a partier through and through. They literally cannot stop partying or else they'll cease to exist. They know no pain or sleep or fear, making them the ideal partner for any Friday night. They love neon bracelets, waiting in lines, rainy days, and white shirts. They hate self-preservation instincts, reading, and daylight. I really feel like uh, this is for shit, <laughs> she's and giggles. Very good, how about you? I'm doing very well. We're, we're playing a uh, a fun little game here. <laughs> hey there. Oh, wait, do you have shutter shades? Oh my god, I haven't seen those in forever. Do y'all remember shutter shades? Oh my god. Oop. Oop. Alright, no, we can do this. We can we can S tier one of them. We can totally do that. We can do it. Boop. 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 I just gotta focus super, super hard, and then we can totally do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, I hit the wrong one. I was close. You know what? We got the B. We got the B. It's okay. Here to see if there's any jump scares. No, nope, no kind of uh, jump scares, but it is a horror game. That's kind of like you, yeah? Would you wear the, the shutter shades and all the little, uh, uh, not neon, uh, what are they called? Oh, I guess they did describe him as neon. Um, glow in the dark. Jump. I can't remember the term for it. What are they called? Uh, glow sticks. That's the term. The glow stick bracelets. All right. So we got blueberry tart now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why my brain couldn't remember the word glow sticks. Uh, She's Blueberry Tart was John She's the Third's very first formula in 1975, kicking off a 45 year long career in making soda. She's. Shies. She's. She's. 
Cheese Blueberry Tart was a risk but paid off in spades and created the monetary foundation for the sh for cheese. His father wouldn't have approved of his this flavor, but as John Cheese III always says, dead men make no favors. Cheese Blueberry Tart is the brooding and mysterious type. They don't subscribe to cultural norms, and they have their own dark flair with everything they do. If you can get past their moody exterior, Cheese Blueberry Tart will treat you right. They like Alternative Rock, Black Cats, and Cheese Juicy Melon. They don't like pastel colors, bland foods, or coffee. Only the shutter shades. All right, let's see what this one's like. Hey. Wait, is this a goth mommy? Is this is this a goth mommy can? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. Oh, oh! <laughs> I, I think, I think this might be the goth mommy can. Oh, you know what? I think um, the necklace that they have is uh, the other half of the best friend's necklace that the the melon can had earlier. I think that's uh, why they referenced the melon can. Oh my god! Nope, nope. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Uh-oh, I'm gonna explode. <laughs> You're gonna explode? <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Yeah, emo, emo or goth, depending on uh, technically what music they listen to. All right. Uh, ooh, tiramisu. That sounds good. Very tasty. Uh, she's tiramisu was a massive hit when it first launched in 2013 disappearing from shells almost as quickly as it was stocked. The patented Cheese Freeze Storage Nitro, all with TMs, from Cheese R&D allows for Cheese Tiramisu to be ice cold from the instant you open it to the moment you finish it. Cheese Tiramisu can seem a little cold and bitter at first, but they're sweet and fluffy once you get to know them. Let their creamy texture envelop you as you bask in a world of pure bliss. They love coffee, cafe, creative writings, uh, and murder mysteries. They hate meringue, the suburbs, and people who say espresso. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, they're Italian. All right. Boop. 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 Here we go. Boop, boop. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. We got this. Pro gamer. Pro gamer moments over here. Dude. Creamy. Creamy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. This this is this is great. Okay. Oh, S rank. S rank. S rank. S rank. S rank. S rank. I got an S rank. Yes. I got it. I got it. I got it. S rank. Look at that. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh, and they have, I assume, a lip ring? Is that supposed to be a lip ring? Yeah, look, look, I got my, <laughs> I got my one S rank. I'm sure if I, like, focus on this super hard, I could get more S ranks, but, you know. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hi, Mama, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. You, uh, <laughs> you came in during uh, an interesting game I decided to play. <laughs> All right, uh... I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly. I, I love this say so game. Hi, Smoke, how are you? Um, full madames, madames? Not sure how they're pronouncing that. Poggy Woggy. <laughs> the She's Company fell on hard times after the departure of its CEO. However, when John She's the Third returned a decade later in 2012, he brought the investment money of one of the most prolific Egyptian businessmen. Sahir Saik? Saik? Saki? I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm not sure how to say that. I think it's Saik. Um, with the capital injection and John's sure leadership at their back, full madams thrust Shiz to its original glory. Sahir, plenty satisfied with his investment, then entertained John's request to gain access to the country's ancient relics. Ooh, I wonder what he needs that for. She's Full Madames has pleasured all regions of the Middle East to the soaks of... I'm so sorry, I'm going to pronounce all of this wrong. I'm so, so sorry. 
of uh, Riyadh, Riyadh to the shores of the Persian Gulf. Now, even you can experience what can only be described as the timeless taste of fava beans cooked with the finest extra virgin olive oils from the fields. They love oil, Dubai, and thom, which I think is garlic sauce. And they hate secrets, bacon, bebsy, <laughs> and the letter P. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. Oop. Oh, Oop. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oop. Oop. Boop. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the way they yes. say it's kind of funny though. Hmm? Oh my oh. god. Boop. Oh. Boop. Yes. Boop. There we go. Oh my god. This is this is fantastic. This is it's so I'm sure for some people the the sounds get a little, you know, stale pretty quickly, but I I think it's really funny, honestly. All right. Ooh, veggie broth. Feeling the need to get a drink. Uh, I'm actually going to take a little sippy myself. I have uh water. So, I need that right now. Yeah, agreed, Doobie. <laughs> All right. She's veggie broth was formulated in 1844 when She's production facility broke down right before a charity ball, forcing John She's the first to think on his feet. He threw a few fresh veggies and some expired chemicals into a nearby pot, and the rest is history. It was reinstated as a modern flavor in 2013 upon John Cheese the Third's return. Cheese veggie broth might look traditional, but don't let their label fool you. They're up for new experiences and love being the loudest one at the party. They've got more stories than they can count, and for some of them are actually oh, and some of them are actually interesting. If you're up for a healthy, well-traveled partner, Cheese veggie broth is the one for you. Loves carrots, broccoli, and morphine. Hates fruits and fruit-based products. Yeah, morphine. Morphine. That is that is made with morphine. Wait, hold on. There's something on there on the front of the can. Let me read what that is. Turn around. Turn, 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 turn. Absolutely harmless. It actually says that on the front of the can. Yeah, tastes of carrots. Because, like, getting, like, soup broth in a can, like, I don't think that's the worst as long as it's, like, hot. Because I've had, like, those, but, um... I, I get the feeling that this is pretty cold and probably doesn't taste all that good, yeah. All right, let's see. What's your favorite vegetable? Mine's the aubergine. Of course it's aubergine. Oh my god. All right. Boop. Oh. And then boop. Oh. Boop. Boop. Ah. <laughs> it's just... It's... it's <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Spray. Here, here. Chill out. Calm down. I'm only taking photos. Relax. Just need to get some product photos. It's it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh. Oh wait, how did how did we do? Absolutely harmless. Yep. Wait, what? Oh my god. Yep. Yep. That's okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. Let me take another sip. <sighs> okay. Cheese Taro Teas. Cheese Taro Teas was exclusively released in Japan in 2014 as part of a marketing campaign for the momentarily momentary sensation idol Naughty Doll, Noti Doru, a self-proclaimed lover of taro bubble tea. The highly eroticized publicity stunts uh, attracted the attention of conservative Western audiences who made calls to sabotage the brand's products. Cheeseheads, however, responded by further strengthening their support of the company. Cheese tarot teas, playful charms, will make you blush. Every single one of their moves is profoundly erotic. 
<laughs> they have a mysterious aura, though if you manage to get close to them, you may discover that it merely conceals their vulnerable side. They have been hurt too many times before, but only because they love too intensely. Not like the overdose of morphines, but you know what? True, true, true. They love lace, bubble tea, shibari, and fairy lights. They hate Facebook, kink shaming, long movies, and cold feet. But these are like such very specific descriptions. It's a can in shibari. It, it's just straight up a can wrapped in rope. It's... Oh my god. <laughs> and it did the Ada Ada too. Oh my god. That's. Oh, the music's really good for this one though. I really like this one. Molto. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is great. Thank you for, for uh, dropping a like. I really appreciate it. Yeah, the descriptions are great. They're really, really specific, too. Okay, I, I really, really liked that one. Jelly Bean. She's Jelly Bean was developed in 1983, following years of John Cheese III's success in the business world. He wanted to branch out and formulated this special limited time flavor as a way to connect with high-ranking politicians of the time. It was pulled from shelves a few years later following a lawsuit from a popular jelly bean manufacturer. She's jelly bean is the strong and silent type who prefers to let their flavor do the talking. They might not have a lot to say, but they'll always show you a good time. They love existentialism, tea, plants, and listening. They hate loud parties, chocolate, and trickle-down economics. No, the cans are getting out of hand. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not, honestly, I'm not a big fan of jelly beans. They just, I think the last time I had them was probably like as a kid when it, they had the uh, the Bernie Bots Every Flavored Beans. Though I have seen, they make like a, a spicy roulette one. Um, so we might do that for a challenge. Like I would, I would eat them for a challenge, but I wouldn't eat them otherwise. These cans, no, no shame. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Her. Okay. Mm. <laughs> they just, they just grunt. All they're doing is grunting. Oh my god. Her. Her. Oh my god. Do you think they're happy or upset? Oh my god. That's. Yeah, I was not expecting that one. Oh my god. This is this is fantastic. Oh my god. Extremely disturbing grunts. <laughs> I think the um the subtitles are like the best part of this. Oh. <laughs> so we want you to make grunting noises as a can of soda. Yeah, basically. Hi Michael, how are you? They're secretly a Minecraft villager? Oh, true, they could be, they could be. Let me just take another sip. Uh, Alright. She's Cheeky Bit of Pud. She's Cheeky Bit of Pud was John She's the Third's first and only venture into holiday-themed drinks. He had no idea it would be a mistake. She's cheeky bit of pud ruined the 2015 holiday season when the public loved it so much they couldn't eat their holiday dinners because they drank too much she's cheeky bit of pud. It was pulled from the shelves the following January but remains highly popular on the black market. I Sounds like a Clash Royale King getting mad. I've never played it. Oh my god. Um, there's always room for a cheeky bit of pud. That's crazy. Loves presents, custard, brandy, cream, and Christmas. Hates any other holiday food, New Year's parties, and she's tiramisu. Wow. Uh, no, I have not heard of that before. All right, let's see. Brandy cream, or you want a bit of custard? Oh my God, it's a Christmas one. 
awful. They're playing Christmas music. That's great. Oh my god. I love it. Fantastic. Oh my god. I like the little uh, holiday crown. It's like the ones that you get from the... I think they're called Christmas crackers. Uh, it's, it's like a... A thing you pull apart with somebody else and it has like presents and toys inside. And sometimes it'll have those uh little little crowns. We sell some strange stuff. Is it is it like sodas or or something else entirely? Oh no. Mustard. Who who wants a mustard flavored soda? She's continued to, or Shez continued to use She's brand name products uh throughout the 2000s producing various ill-fated products. She's mustard was heavily marketed to Eastern Bloc countries such as Bulgaria, Albania, and Romania. Rumors that John Cheese III burned down a Romanian corner shop when he saw the drink for the first time are totally unsubstantiated. She's mustard is a tart and tangy little drink that will add some much needed spice to your life. Some people find them overpowering, but if you can handle, oh my god, this is this is this is crazy. If you can handle them, you're in for one of the most exciting experiences of your life. They like sandwiches, sausages, hot dogs, burgers, rope play, and knife knife play. Uh, they don't like being spread too thin, bland size, uh, and she's original. Oh my god, that's crazy. All right, mustard, mustard it is, mustard it is. Dear Santa, where are my presents from 10 years ago? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, man. You want to taste me, don't you? Yeah, knife play. Knife play. You you heard that right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I like the outfit for this one. This is a, it's, a, it's a nice accessory. Oh, my God. You, you make a lot of noises there, Can. Making, making lots and lots of noises. Relax there. Oh my God. Okay, easy, easy. Rar. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Well, we got the mustard one. Mustard's definitely interesting. Um. Oh no. Okay, which which one would you rather have, mustard or mayonnaise? I I I don't know which one I'd rather have. To be honest with you, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a sippy real quick. You'd rather have the mayo one. <clears throat> After the terrible sales of cheese, pineapple pizza, and cheese raw meat. The Russian cheese executives decided to dial it back on the odd flavors, and in a desperate attempt to keep hold of the direction of the company, they launched one of the last condiment-inspired formulas, 2011's cheese. Mayonnaise was the last of the ill-advised flavors brought to the cheese shelves before John Cheese III's triumphant return. Do you think there's a ketchup one? No, they both sound really bad, honestly. Uh, day or night, you will always find cheese mayonnaise grinding away at the gym. The one thing they love more than checking themselves out in the steamed up mirror in front of the leg press is a sweet, attentive partner to cuddle and watch movies with. They may be known for the bench pressing a man with their face, wait, what face? But beneath their well-defined pectorals, there's a tender heart. <laughs> so cheese mayonnaise is a, is a gym bro, I guess? Uh, they love egg whites, leg day, the smell of popcorn, and industrial techno. They hate cheese, tangy ketchup, damp towels, pulling a muscle, and baggy clothes. I love, I love the personalities. They're, they're very, very good. We're getting, we're getting close to the spooky though. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're not that far off. Oh boy. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> oh my god, wait, they pose. They pose. Oh my god. No, 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 I love this. 
This is this is the best one. This is the best one, hands down. All the other ones, mid. This is this is incredible. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. Yeah, no, this one. It's this is this is the best one. Very, very easily. Oh my god. This is this is fantastic. Okay. Almost ah, I think we got A. Yeah, it's a muscle can. Look at how Oh my god. No, no, this is this is hands down best one. There, I don't, it, I don't think anything can top that one. I really don't. That's that's clearly the best can ever. Oh god, another one of the Russian ones. Um, in, in 1999, Russian bootleg company Shees put their own spin on the market of carbonated drinks. Inspired by a family recipe, She's cold beet stew became a major hit in the Eastern European market. John She's the third, with a visible wince of disgust, described the drink as coarse. But She's cold beet stew would, in time, allow She's directives to take hold of his company. She's cold beet stew is a demanding lover. Try as you might to impress them, it will not happen. Still, they have a weirdly irresistible know-how semblance, and don't be around the bush when it comes to rough play. A few rounds with them will be enough to create memories to last for a lifetime, for better or worse. They love bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica, and Beyonce. They hate monogamy, curry, and capitalism. Yeah, these are, these are still sodas, technically. They're still there. <laughs> All right. If they don't have like bare hands or something, I'm I'm rioting. Let's get this over with. I don't have high hopes for you, but prove me wrong. You know what? You know what? This is this is also acceptable. Beat me. <laughs> Beat me? Da. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh. oh my oh. god. Mm. Beat I me. No, that's 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 mm. also fantastic. Just for different reasons entirely, but oh. no, I, I I love oh. that one too. Oh my mm. god, oh. that's mm. funny. Oh yeah. my god, I keep messing it up. <laughs> Beats me. Beats me. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, the oh, little like go. fishnet well, stocking. <laughs> it was marginally better than my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that was shady. Oh my god. These these flavors are starting to get weirder and weirder. Who wants four cheese? <laughs> cheese four cheese was the first drink launched after the Russian company Cheese PGSC acquired Cheese in 2001. Emboldened by the relative success of their previous unique formulas, Cold Beet Stew and Canada Shy, the new direction of the company began with a series of controversial yet interesting new flavors. Cheese for Cheese was surprisingly well received in the Northern English market, where it became a traditional drink on Plow Monday. Cheese for Cheese is a strong personality, but everyone enjoys them, whether in small nibbles or gooey cascades. Warm and outgoing, they have a way of making everyone feel comfortable around them and prefer to focus on the good and simple things in life. Their puns may be a bit tacky, but their guffaws are contagious. They love puns, charcuterie boards, Cohen Brothers movies, and raclette parties. They hate running, politics, mustaches, and cynicism. No, <laughs> tear, ew. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hello. How are you doing? You must breathe the talk of the town. Breathe the talk of the town. Okay, no, that's cute. I, I like the puns. Me. Talk curdy to me. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I really like that. No, this is this is great. Oh, oh my God! Oop. Oop. Oh my! Oh! I think this has been like the Talk curdy to me. the tamest oh. out of oh, all of these like cans. Better not stop. Better not stop. Oh my, oh my God! Oh. No, these are these are great. Talk curdy to me. I love it. I love it. Oh goodness! Oh, 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 you rock fought my world. Oh my god. No, the game the game is fantastic. I, I I'm very happy we decided to play this. 
Oh, there was a ketchup. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was going to be a ketchup. Uh, she's did not learn their lesson from the ill-fated mustard in 2004 as they formulated she's tangy ketchup five years ago. Or five years later, excuse me. While the slightly more popular, uh, it was still an abomination to mankind. She's tangy ketchup is still largely popular with people who barbecue in their backyard. She's tangy ketchup is a down-to-earth, cheeky chappy. They always know just what to say and where to go and know all the best spots in town that still have smoking areas. They're not the kind of soda you bring home to your parents, but they are the kind of soda that will show you a good time in the back seat. They love cigarettes, cars, bacon, horse races, and bedding. Uh, they hate cheese, French vanilla, clean bathrooms, and meetings. Well, hello. Wait, why, why is the piercing on the bottom? Why is the piercing on the bottom? Oh. The piercing's on the bottom of this can. Oh. <laughs> the piercing is on the bottom. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. I love it. Fantastic. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Almost there. Got it. We're, we're just gonna get a, a C for this one. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. All right, we're almost there. One, two, three, four. We got four more, and then the spoopy. It's the piercing was on the bottom. You saw it. It was on the bottom. Pineapple pizza. Continuing to abuse the She's company name, She's pressed on with their bizarre attempts to create fast food flavored soda well into the late 2000s. She's Pineapple Pizza was released in Europe and the Americas to mixed success in 2008. One soda connoisseur called it the punchline to the joke that is the modern She's line of sodas. Not everyone is a fan of She's Pineapple Pizza, but those lo fans are loyal and always happy to spend time with them. As uh, an entertainer at heart, She's Pineapple Pizza will do whatever it takes to put a smile on your face. Cheese Pineapple Pizza is always clowning around, cracking jokes, and making delicious cream pies. I don't, I don't, it was on the bottom. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Is this going to be the clown one? Because they mentioned clowns in, like, the warning. I think this is going to be the clown one. Oh, hello there. Would you like a pizza? Or maybe a joke? <gasps> Wait, please do that every time. Oh. Wait, where's the... Eh? Oh. No, 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 just do that noise every time. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> he oh. sounds like, like a knockoff Mickey Mouse a little oh. bit. Oh. oh my god. Oh boy. Oh. I. Oh, oh boy. This is. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Got that one. Oh. Come on, we could do this. We could do this. Oh. All right, I got an A on that one. Yeah, it's the clown. <laughs> Oh my god. No, that one that was fantastic. That was that was great. Oh my god. <gasps> Raw meat. Okay. I I'm actually kind of excited for this one. I I can't wait to see what this one ends up being like. Let me take a sip real quick one second. Oh my god. She's raw meat was one of the final nails in the coffin that spelled the end of the She's Corporation. Despite or desperate to try and capitalize on the recent health conscious crazes of the time, She's attempted to produce a protein soda that would be marketed towards young to middle aged adults. Unfortunately, due to several mistranslations, She's raw meat was not well received because nobody wanted to drink something that sounded like it tasted like raw meat. Um, she's raw meat might look a bit unpleasant, but inside beats the heart of a passionate lover. 
If you can look past the less than stellar reputation they've built for themselves, you might find something special there. They love steak, lamb, cottage pie, chicken, eggs, and octopus rings, and hate vegetables, emotional, <laughs> emotional vulnerability, and brand managers. This is a very cultured game. Super, super cultured. Are you ready? Okay, maybe this is the best one. Mm. Medium rare mm. mode. Oh my god. Meaty. Meaty? No, this is this is this is probably the best one. This and the the mayonnaise mm. cans are they have to be the best ones. Uh. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, we got this. We got this. We can do this. Boop. Meaty. Boop. Boop. Mm. Uh. Okay, almost we're B rank. B rank. We can do this. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta S rank this. I gotta S rank this. No, come on. I think it was so close. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Did I, I think I only A ranked it. I think, I think it, come here, come here. Where? Damn, it was only an A. I'm getting better though. That, that one was really good. That in the, this one and the mayo, I think are my favorites so far. Oh my god. Sardine surprise. Oh, what's this? In 2017, John Cheese III announced that Cheese LLC would be diversifying the business into fishery, submersibles, and ocean exploration. Stating in Lime magazine, the seas are a bountiful place. There have been more people on the surface of the moon than to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. In my years traveling the world alone, I've learned much about what waits down in the abyss, what they left behind for us. And now with She's Fisheries, we shall bring it all to the surface for my son. It's literally a can of sardines. What do you want from me? It loves the ocean, hates the land. So it probably hates that we're... Is it just going to peel back when it finishes? I mean, we're, we're about to find out, but I, I feel like it's just going to peel back. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Matey. Matey. I'm going to focus super hard. We could totally S tier this. Oh, yeah, laddie. Oh, wait, no. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, let oh, I keep missing it. Mickey. I could totally do this, though. Oh, 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 Come on, go faster. Oh, yeah, let it. oh it's gonna, it's gonna. Clear the deck. There she goes. Oh my God, that's basically all oil. That's yeah, that, that's basically all oil there. Uh oh, factory rust. Oh yeah, pirate sweat, baby. <laughs> this is the true one piece right here. <laughs> Late in 2019, investors in Shees were shocked to learn that John Shees III had been quietly selling off Shees production factories all across the world to help fund a very important secret project. Due to the sudden lack of supply, the board was forced to reopen the old Shees factory in Russia. Regrettably, the dilapidated machinery could only produce one flavor, rust. Cheese Factory Rust is a party animal living every day like it's their last. They love to get down and dirty and aren't afraid of a little mess. Sure, they're kind of rough around the edges, but with enough work, you can grind them down. They love grime music, dirty talk, partying, the rain, and urban exploration. They hate cleaning, being tied down, the quiet, and life. Oh my god. <laughs> Grundle. But yes, we are we are close. We are close to, to the end. Alright. Boop. Let's go. First party in 30 years. First party in 30 years. Oh my god. Ooh, I like the music though. Music's really good for this one. Okay, we can do this. No, I hit it. I hit it. I definitely hit that one. Bless this soul. Bless this wholesome stream and welcome in to the Church of Leah. 
We got this. We got this. And thank you so much for following. I will see in just one second. Frog, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. I can now die. A little tetanus never hurt anyone, right? I, yeah, yeah, just just a little, well little, done. little bit. You've experienced all there is to do at the She's collection. Please don't go searching for any more cans while you're here. Hmm. Oh. Spooky. What do you think it is? She's Thirstborn is the long-awaited result of Project S decades in the making. John She's the Third sacrificed soda from his own collection, personal connections, millions of stolen shareholder dollars, and even his own life to build this prototype. Both can and human soul combined in one perfect organism. It was the first of many. She's thirstborn should be approached with caution. There will be consequences. Please reconsider. Loves the color of your eyes, the breeze through their hair, the warmth of lamps. Hates being trapped in an eternal, excruciating limbo between life and death. You ready? You ready? We're gonna do it. Is that you, Father? Father, you made me. The flesh and the can are one. I feel my insides fizz. I told you this was a horror game. Stronger. Oh. Mm. I will be CEO. Father. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, oh my god, it moans too. The soul's growing. I feel the soul's growing. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, I feel stronger. Uh, I will be CEO. Oh yeah. I will be CEO. Almost there. Thank you for freeing me. The soul may move on, but the flesh shall grow. Are you proud of me, Father? And we ass ranked it. Look at that. Pro gamer. <laughs> Thank fine. you for playing Only Cans, Thirst Date. We are incredibly sorry. <laughs> we are incredibly sorry. Kill it with penicillin. I, I don't think penicillin is strong enough. You're scared? I'm sorry. I promised it was a horror game, though. I did not lie. I would not lie to you guys about that. Fuckers as hell. Um, so, there is lore in this game. Um, every single can we have uh, interacted with has a human soul in it. She's LLC is not responsible for any health issues caused by experiencing our product, including but not limited to heart attacks, loss of sanity, impotency, loss of limb, hair loss, eczema, death, heartbreak, heart removal, lung collapse, premature ejaculation, aluminum liver syndrome, or canned laughter. If you experience an erection for longer than four hours after using this product, then what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That was fantastic. Yep, every single one of them. So, uh, the Game Theorist channel has a really good breakdown on the, the lore side of this. But, uh, it is, it is, every single thing I was reading out to you guys for the soda descriptions actually was the lore itself. Leah, I joined this in the middle and I'm confused. What are you confused about? What can, what can I help you understand better? Welcome to Only Cans, Thirst Date. Click here to experience cans. Cans! Boop. And guess what? There's more! There's even more. Not quite as many as in Thirst State, but there is a DLC, and since we're only a little over an hour in, I think we're gonna continue. 
what kind of monster would do this? Uh, John Cheese the third. Yeah, round two. Let's go. Let me just take a little sippy first, and then we can continue. <clears throat> She's dark chocolate. Below is an excerpt from Can Lover 69's seminal self-insert. Slow burn cheese. Can fiction. A night with dark chocolate. She makes me melt. The lingerie that caressed her taut aluminum frame fluttered as she spun in the air, suspended by nothing but my need for her. I swallowed nervously, my mouth dry as my gaze traced over her polished rim. Finally, she spoke. Oh, hello, dear. You look so thirsty. Would you like a drink? Those words, those simple words, all hope at a chance to speak was gone. I nodded mutely to my sweet confectionery goddess. I held up the squirt bottle and spritzed her. Droplets like virginal dew slid across her perfect aluminum sides, dripping moist trails down her perfect form. Come on over here and bite my nibs. Oh my god! There's candles! Coca O. Coca O, oh my god. So this is this is the after dark section. Oh. Oh my god. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Boop, boop, boop. We got this. We got this. We can do this. Go. Boop. 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 All right. Pretty, pretty good. I think we got a B rank on that. You're melting? Okay, good pun. Good pun. Extra points for the pun. All right. Sweet Sunset Molasses. Shortly after a molasses flood in 1919, Shee's LLC was contracted to clear the sticky liquid. That heroic act made Shee's a household name and resulted in the delicious flavor of Shee's Sweet Sunset Molasses. Below is an excerpt from an ad in 1920. New from Shee's, the West has never been this wild before. Get a taste of the Wild West wherever you are with Shee's Sweet Sunset Molasses. Galvanize yourself and your pals with this sweet, sweet flavor, whether you're in the saloon or at a swanky speakeasy. When you need someone by your side for a long ride, Shee's Sweet Sunset Molasses can be your partner through and through. Sometimes you just gotta take the bull by the horn. They're, they're a literal cowboy. Oh my god. I love it. Fantastic. Giddy up. Nice. Fantastic. I, yep. I wonder how long it took to uh, make all the designs for these. Giddy up. Okay, we're doing a little better. Almost there. Oh, I was close. I just got to go a little bit faster. Almost looks like root beer. Not quite dark enough for the color, but close. All right, we got cookies and cream. In 2020, She's LLC was reeling from the sudden death of its CEO, and the board needed a new soda formulas to recover cash flow after years of John She's the Third's reckless spending. An intern, Susie O. Fishbark, came forward with the idea for She's Cookies and Cream. Here is an excerpt from Susie's pitch to the board. She's Cookies and Cream could be the beginnings of the future for She's LLC. We need something bold, something daring. Oh, it was John She's the fourth's favorite ice cream flavor. That's just a coincidence. Or is it? Hi, Wolf, how are you? Let's get creamy. Oh, moo, you're a cow. Oh, the music's cute for this one. Oh my God. Moist. The music definitely like does not fit what's going on and I'm pretty sure that's on purpose, but oh my god. Is that old McDonald playing in the background? No, that's Yankee. Is it Yankee Doodle or old McDonald? I can't tell. 
We got it. Uh, Milkers. Yeah, kind of. No, no. Let we'll figure it out on their own. And we're almost done anyway. We got, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're, we only have a few more anyway. <gasps> Lingonberry. She's LLC's fantastic flavors are enjoyed all across the globe, with many of our canatics requesting delightfully daring and daunting fresh tastes. One She's head wrote this email in 2012, their enthusiasm prompting She's LLC to make She's Lingonberry an official flavor. Hey, she's, please, please, please release a lingonberry flavor. We uh, know you can do it. You did elderflower too, and we gotta have it or else. Just kidding. <laughs> Ever since John the Third, or Jay Shizzle as I call him, got back in, in control, your sick flavors have been out of this world. I wanna, I know you wanna stay the best, and the best is going to be lingonberry. I got the tattoo set already. Oh my god. Are we in a sauna? I think we might be. This is just giggling and stuff. I guess they're uh, happy to be here. Boop. Boop. Got it. Got it. B. Oh, no, 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 I went down to C. Damn it. Every time you miss it, I swear it brings you down like one completely. Stay and have a soda. Exactly. Stay. And we have plenty of soda options. Got almost every flavor you could think of. Like, for instance, we have cream tea. To celebrate being granted the royal warrant for soda manufacturing, She's LLC released a flavor worthy of the longest reigning sovereigns in the world in 1990. The reception was truly majestic. To John She's the third, the queen wishes me to write and thank you for the delicious flavor you've created especially for her. She's ever so grateful. Her majesty was delighted to discover She's cream tea abides to her highest of highest standards. I am to send the Queen's good wishes to you and your family, and to once again thank you for this illustrious new invention. All the best, Candace Kane's Lady in Waiting. Alright, is this gonna be royal and stuff? Yeah, oh my god! Or the cream? Oh my god, this is- no, these- I almost like these ones better than the- the first half. Like, these are- these are really well done, honestly. Okay, boop. 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 I love the music. I think they updated a lot of the backgrounds on this too, because they seem varied. Oh. Well, that's just not cricket. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Fantastic. Love it. All right. Blushing Rose. A note written from John She's the Third to his son's widow, Joy She's, in 2015. Dear Joy, I hope you're doing well, my dear. I know we haven't spoken since the passing of my son, your husband, but I've decided to create She's drink in your honor, Blushing Rose. I hope Blushing Rose will be the olive branch we need after some rocky times between us. I know I've made some accusations about my son's death, but those are all in the past now. I'm working hard to honor his legacy, and I would love for you to be a part of those efforts. Please enjoy John She's the Third. And uh, what's interesting about this, since we know that it's human souls in the can now, this is presumed to be his wife's soul in this can. Hello, sweetie. Long day? Crack me open and tell me all about it. What do you mean, why is everyone running? They're running towards the sodas, because we all love soda. Yes. We love a, a nice, sparkling yes. beverage. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mm. I, lo huh? mm. I love that. Yes. Peachy. Nice. Wow. Uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. We got it. Ah, thanks, <laughs> Why are you running? Fun. Who doesn't Happy want a refreshing time. drink to end of the day? Exactly. Who who wouldn't want, you know, a nice little soda? Oysters Casino. Oh my god. Yeah, Pog. We got the S rank. Uh, in 1966, John Shees II completed his most ambitious non-soda goal to date, opening a hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. During its peak, the hotel was primarily used by John Shees II as a place to woo and gamble. The building collapsed in 2003, but the cause of the collapse is unknown. Come down to Shees Vegas Hotel and Casino, home of the world famous Shees Oysters Casino Soda. Crack open a cold one and stay a while with the finest sodas and finest company in the world. Remember, at Shees Vegas Hotel and Casino, the world is your oyster. Yeah, this is this is definitely one I would not want to try. You play your cards right, you might just liquidate my assets. Huh? Oh my god. Mm. I love it. Flush. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Play Boop. it on. Boop. Boop. Oh, yeah. Boop. Oh, that's good. Boop. Snake Boop. eyes. Snake eyes? Oh jeez, that's good. Oh, Beautiful. Why would you do that? Oh, yeah. This is yeah. fantastic. Absolutely oh, incredible. Ooh. Flush. Flush. Oh, oh my yes. god. Put it all on red. Put it all on red. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my god. All right, we have three more. Honey pot. The love between John Shees III and his faithful wife, Josephine, had always been the envy of the business world. In 1985, John created a Shees flavor to celebrate his 25th wedding anniversary. To my most beautiful honeybee, love of my life, flavor of my world, whenever I'm away from you, I miss your sweet words, your candied smile, and your warm touch. Even now, after 25 years, the butterflies in my stomach keep me up at night. Sometimes, the butterflies are so intense they feel like bees. I made this soda to celebrate our love. I want the world to never forget how much you mean to me. With She's Honey Pot, whenever we're apart, we can still both taste our sweet love together. Yeah, bee! Oh, I'm buzzing. Hey, little honeybee. Oh my god! Look, 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 little stinger on it! Mm. Oh my god. Ooh. Ah... Oop. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Uh, oh, honey. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> it's Ooh. the ones that they do if you hit it incorrectly are really funny, though, honestly. Oh, honey. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that one got mad at me. Uh, oh, buzz. God, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, that's my least favorite. That one's my least favorite, hands down. Hands down, least favorite. Do No, did not like that. Did not like that at all. Wish I S-tiered it as soon as we did that, because I don't want to play that one again. That's the worst one. That is by far the worst one. I hate that one. Oh my god. Yeah, I would not drink a can of bees. Oh my god. She's Blueberry Melon Twist press release. We hear you, uh, shy She's Heads. Uh, we've read the can fiction, we've seen the can art, and we've seen the streams. We know how much you love and adore She's Blueberry Tart and She's Juicy Melon's delightful romance. Due to unprecedented demand and passion, we here at She's Can Raidery have decided to fuse our two fan favorites to create She's Blueberry Melon Twist. Releasing in February 2021 as a part of our Sapphic 2021 collection, this flavor is the ultimate symbol of love, not just between these two soulful classics, but between She's LLC and She's Heads. We hope you enjoy. Hi, Hexer. How are you? I'm so happy to be here with you. <laughs> Oh, it's the best friends. It was the um, the goth mommy and the uh, 
the uh the the, the melon soda one. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Boop. 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 Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I hit the right one. I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. I definitely did not mistime that one. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. You know what? Close enough. It's it's uh, yes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. You know, uh, they they are they are doing they're doing something in there. Congratulations! As one of our most loyal she's heads, the she's LLC board would like to give you the gift of eternal devotion. Eternal devotion. Hmm. Oh, what's this? In 2024, Ms. Fishbark's first move as head of the she's LLC board was to formulate an exclusive flavor called she's eternal devotion. It was served exclusively at the board's Valentine's Day party. Below is the invitation for the party. I know you've all had some reservations about the direction I've been taking she, uh, She's LLC, but I'd like to extend the celebration as a peace offering. I promise you together that we can take She's LLC further than you could ever dream. This Valentine's Day, join me as we devote ourselves to the future of She's. Oh no, are they gonna steal our soul? Like with this drink? Because that, that's kind of like what I'm feeling, right? It's a fancy Don't can. Be afraid. Turn off the light. I have such sights to show you. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh my uh, god. Uh, okay. Uh, I like uh, I like this uh can design uh, a lot though. Oh no, I hit the wrong one. Damn it. Uh, that's okay. We're 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 doing uh, fine. The guitar is nice, though. Uh, this, this this game is fantastic. Uh, I, honestly, I'm probably going to spend some time off stream uh, trying to to get uh, um all the the S ranks. Oh my god! Yeah, very very spicy. We are going to do great things together. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Ma'am? Ma'am? This is a song about soft drinks. No, just, just ignore else. that and listen to this wonderful Take song. Um, I listen to this song all the time. It's so good. I'm gonna take a sip, though, because I'm very thirsty. Sitting in the fridge with a twinkle. Are you a mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. Sipping in the spritz isn't sinful. I'm just trying to get my ringer in full. You know, love. It's so cute. I, re I really, really like the song. Also, the song is on YouTube itself if you want to check it out, and uh, on Spotify. Exclusively a subsidiary of <laughs> She's LLC. I'm gonna make myself uh, an exclusive can, so that way um, you guys can can see my soul in the can. No, it's so good, right? Yeah, I, th I think Dan might be a little uh, scarred. But isn't the song making it better? What did you say? We're tasteless. I wonder how long it took to uh, make and edit this video too. If they ever um, make a second game of this, I don't know if they ever would, but if they do, I would absolutely play it. Mending machine of love. This is the thirst of a lonely man. We need a Northern Boys collab. That would be really funny. My favorite can, um, 
the mayonnaise one was really, really funny. I liked that one a lot. Um, and, and the raw meat. So mayonnaise and raw meat, I think, were my favorites out of all of them. Do you guys have a, a favorite can or a least favorite can? And I'm not accepting all of them as an answer. <laughs> Um, I think my least favorite was the, the honey one, because the bees. I, I did not like the bees. <laughs> Most favorite is Scoff Mommy Can. That was good, too. Uh, favorite is uh, Watermelon and Blueberry, yeah. I like Thirst Porn actually made me feel something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was Thirstborn was spooky. Thirstborn was very, very spooky, but I did not lie, it is a horror game. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, the game theorist also um, did a, a video on this that explains all like the lore and stuff, and they go into like there's like files and stuff that you can change the, the text of to play certain uh, like voice recordings and stuff in the game. So they, they put a lot of time and effort into that, which I very much appreciate. And on their website, there's like lore stuff too. The muscle and the mommy one, yeah. The the muscle one was the uh, the mayonnaise one. I just, that one was so funny. I feel like if I made one for me, it would probably be like steak related, but I'd have to do something a little different than their raw meat uh, can. Like, what, what flavor would you guys be if, if you had to be a, a cheese uh, can flavor? Yeah, the meat one was funny. Hydrating. All right. That's it. That's the game. All right. Uh, since that is the entirety of this, um, I think I'm going to head off for the night. I will have the schedule for the coming week probably out on like Monday or Tuesday. Welcome to Only Cans, Thirst Date. Click here to experience cans. But I really appreciate you guys being here, so thank you. Oh yeah, sometimes YouTube is kind of crazy with the, the filters. So if, uh, if your messages aren't going through, it's probably just that. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys for being here uh, for especially such a weird game. But uh, I have the uh, next two streams that we're going to do already up if you want to see what they, uh, they will be. But yeah, I'm going to go uh, get some food and stuff. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all very soon. So good night, everyone.